it's another exciting day in the world of the meta humans <laughs> guys welcome back friends this is solomon jagwe i'm back with another quick insight and uh mini tutorial so i fun i finally managed to bring in my custom meta create uh, meta human <laughs> that i created using the meta human creator early access and so today we're gonna be looking at comparing the quality of facial animation that uh, you get from the air kit from the iphone 10 and the kind of the quality that you get from facewear studio i think there's a big difference there because i remember when they did the the uh, demo version the lips looked totally different from what we're getting from the phone okay so that's what i'm gonna be comparing so this is uh on the left is a uh, uh, one of the original characters that came with a sample project and then on to the right is a, a new character that i created using the uh, meta human creator online right so guys uh if you're new to my channel i kindly ask that you spare a minute and click subscribe and hit that notification bell when you're alerted so you're alerted <laughs> so you're alerted when i post a new video and uh thank you so much as always to the steady subscribers guys we're growing thank you so much for staying hanging in there with me as we grow this community of storytellers right and and dreamers and as always i am always grateful to the patrons guys thank you so much for your support thank you for all the coffee i i, I enjoy it thank you so much all right so we're going to be talking about uh meta human creator today and uh facial animation you know so i was surprised because i know you know the sample meta human cre uh the sample meta human project that uh, we got earlier on from uh, from epic games it had uh you know the two characters in there that when you loaded your iphone and you put in the right ip address and all that it loaded uh it was working you know out of the box right so i wondered would uh, the custom meta creator meta human that i created with uh <laughs> i'm still getting used to the character that i created uh, the custom one that i created if it would actually be that effortless and it actually is really so when i go up here when i bring in the character from bridge so this is a this is a, my custom the two most uh, custom meta humans that i created and these are the presets so whatever i'm showing you uh, is going to be applicable to if you if you don't have the meta human creator yet and you want to use uh, these sample ones uh, it's going to be the same way if you want to test it out yourself so i'm using my meta humans that i created online and i had to be very judicious with my one hour <laughs> you know so you, I, I don't think you can get carried away for before your time slot is over okay so i i clicked on export over here and i was able to send that this character to the unreal engine in the project that i have running right now okay so this character on the left yeah she's she's being driven by faceware studio this character on the right is being driven by the iphone 10 and i have it uh, running on my iphone 10 over here it's streaming and uh, the way it works it's pretty much the same way uh over here uh you drop down because this, if this is not showing you simply select the iphone 10 because mine is is uh connected and you also enable the link face head rotation right so that's what's needed for it to to work it's as easy as that really you just have to make sure that uh you make your phone is connected to the right ip address and you're on the same wi-fi network as your system okay so now bear in mind whatever i'm going to be demonstrating it's probably going to be a little bit slower than if you are you're doing it on your computer and that's because i have two streams of data one from the phone <laughs> that is streaming and then another one from uh, faceware studio so here's faceware studio uh, that is my face over there and i've already calibrated the my face over here and you can see that I've set it to stream. So it's streaming into uh, the Unreal Engine. And over here, instead of uh, uh, like video, I'm using my webcam to actually stream the video. That's what you're looking at right now. This is me. Ah. 
<laughs> all right guys i get excited when i'm doing these things because i love uh storytelling and i love uh when I, I can actually do convincing facial animation right like that like that all right so this is streaming and it's running into here and i'm using uh the glass box glass box client that is streaming the data so that's a plugin that you have to install and if I were to go here to plugins and do a quick search, live client, let's see, installed. So this live client for Unreal Engine is the one that I'm using. Uh, and it's it what it does is you're able to stream data from Faceware Studio using this. So it's not made by Faceware, it's made by another company called, called Glassbox. And so they can you when you sign up for that with uh, for a trial account they give you 30 days to try it out so i highly recommend if you want to test it out and see how it works uh, go ahead and download that from uh, fa uh, uh, <laughs> from their website all right so that's running but i wanted to see how the what the quality looks like and i'm trying to explain this before we do the actual live interaction so i can show you what the difference is and i'm using the default settings i've not tweaked anything because in my previous tutorials or other uh, videos where i did uh, insights i was able to go in and fine tune the mouth for the ar kit so that the, the character will close their mouth i have not tweaked anything i've not tweaked anything for faceware so out of the box i wanted to see how well it works so let's get started it's a uh, press play right here all right so this is my custom character on the right hand side and then on the left hand side is uh the stream from faceware studio now clearly i mean that off the bat there are some things that you're gonna notice like if i raise my eyebrow my right eyebrow the eyebrows for air kit both go up right if i lower this one i do this one like this Let me lift up my hat. So you can see how with Faceware Studio, you can do eyebrows independently. Like that. With uh, Air Kit, uh, at least in its current form, you're not able to do that, right? And so that is one thing that I noticed. Then for the lips, mm -hmm. when I do that, mm, I can hold it and then talk at the same time, but <laughs> all right. So you, clearly there's something that's going on with a uh, Faceware Studio that is doing that's it. Faceware Studio is doing a better job, you know, together with a live client of streaming the facial animation data on the character. So this is, let me remind you, this is error kit on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side is Faceware Studio. Okay. Alright. So there there definitely is when if we use the default settings, you know. Uh, you clearly can see that there's a, a difference between error kit and faceware studio so i know not everyone can afford uh, faceware studio and i know not everyone can afford and an, can afford an iphone 10. so i guess as a small studio if you're trying to scale up uh, i think this gives you an idea of which solution might work best right because i'm using a webcam for faceware studio right and that is something that is cheap that you can buy that's the source of the video and in addition to so the video source which is live right now with our faceware studio um you can do a sequence of images right and so you're not having to deal with uh, the hardware now but you still have to pay you know for the software for faceware studio and the live client <laughs> so it's a balancing act you know, um, so far, I think from what I can see now, the faceware more faceware on the 
left hand side my, uh, my left hand left of the screen that is that is faceware and then on the right is AR kit okay so you guys tell me what do you think is uh is better what option would you pick to work with uh personally i think i still would go with uh the faceware studio in terms of uh the the ease of this because the reason why i would uh, pick faceware as opposed to uh an iphone 10 is because i have uh actors that are in international you know people that i work with as a team and I, I like receiving videos that they've recorded overseas and they can send to me, of course, well lit and with a good soundproofing and everything. And then I am able to plug them into Faceware Studio, you know, so instead of uh, the live stream, I can use video as a source, you know, uh, which I can do with uh, the face uh, with uh, the iPhone 10. Now, I know if I have like face cup, um, I'm able to record you know, the data on the iPhone 10, and I'm able to send that FBX file somewhere else. But so far, and maybe that will be possible with uh, the MetaHumans as MetaHuman creator evolves and all that. But currently, you are not able to use the iPhone 10 to stream, uh, like to use uh, FaceCap data on the <laughs> MetaHumans live, that is, because this is live. I'm doing this live. So the comparison is uh, as a live solution, what which one would uh, work best you know for you as a, an artist and as a storyteller so today is just a, a quick test again to see how well these are uh, these two systems systems work and of course you wouldn't be using this together uh, so you would have to use one at a time so that you get better feedback in the viewport and you probably also probably turn down the lod so that you have a lower you know version of the character so that you you record the session and then you can t take it back up to the highest setting so it looks beautiful right but that's what i wanted to show you today is that i'm testing uh faceware studio together with the iphone 10 to see which one uh, gives the best results on the screen with the default settings so and i know there are others other you know developers out there who are working on systems to improve uh, the way the uh, the character the meta humans are you know int uh, the data is received from the iPhone 10, so this is gonna change. You know, I th I know this is a rapidly changing environment and uh, rather landscape, and so it's exciting to be at this stage where we can do this kind of uh, animation. And one thing I wanted to point out that uh, I know not every project is gonna require an ultra realistic character like this. So there's still room for artists who are uh, character creators to create uh, like uh, stylized models, like cartoon characters until 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 uh, Epic Games comes out with a like meta cartoon <laughs> or meta stylized or whatever. You know, there's still gonna be room for artists to be able to create uh, custom characters for uh, cut comic like uh, for cartoon series and things like that, and so. I think that's where they and even those who are using character creator there's still space for that because when you're using character creator you can still bring in uh different creatures from uh da studio and you're able to use them inside of uh cc3 and then animate them inside of icon and and interestingly you can end up in the unreal engine for uh faster rendering so they i think these programs are still going to work well together there's room for Faceware Studio, and there's definitely room for uh, the iPhone. So if you already have an iPhone 10, I think this you can definitely rely on iPhone 10. But if you're scaling up, maybe you, your budget has gone up a little bit, and you are ready to you know upgrade. I think uh, Faceware Studio is a good uh, solution to have if you're gonna create, especially if you in, in this pandemic where we, we are working across states, across borders. I think these are good options to look at for faceware. For if you're a small studio and you're trying to work with uh, uh, like actors, uh, uh, performance actors, facial animation, voice actors that, that are not in the same uh, location as you are. So that's a lot of words. Oh, <laughs> but again, that's uh, my test today. Guys, please uh, do spare a minute uh, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. 
and uh, see you next time with uh, another quick insight. Uh, this was a, a fun test to do to see how well it's doing. Of course, the machine is struggling because they're two high resolution characters with a lot of hair on the screen, but it would perform much better definitely if the characters were not uh, high res and all that. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, see you next time. And uh, please stay safe as always and dare to dream big. Don't give up on your dream. Let's harness these tools to tell our stories. And uh, I hope you're not intimidated by the uh, meta cr human creator as an artist because there's still room for so many other, you know, whimsical characters that we're going to need to create from our stories and from our, all those stories that are in our brains. They're not always going to be ultra realistic. But if you are into, like, if you're trying to pursue, like, a, a story that you want to pull out real quick, and maybe you want to do a concept film, I think this is a good way to go. And if you're doing facial animation, I think it's uh, that good options out there on the market right now, including Faceware Studio and Era Kit or Live Link Face uh, for the iPhone 10, right? Boom. And the cool thing is that you can still record the video on your iPhone 10, I suppose, and then use uh, Faceware to drive the animation using that video that you shot, you know? So that, that's the cool thing is that if uh, the era kit is not giving you what you are, what you need right or out of the box, you can still record the video on the iPhone 10 and then load it inside of uh, Faceware Studio so that you are able to drive the characters in here. So, and what is cool is that Faceware Studio, you're able to independently move your eyebrows, you know? And I'm hoping that they incorporate that inside of uh, the era kit because right now on the right hand side here, you can see when I raise my eyebrows, you can see the wrinkle maps, but both eyebrows move up. And then when I lower one, or both of them move in the air kit. And then in the left-hand side, you can see that I'm able to independently move the eyebrows and the eyes and things like that. So, all right, guys, uh, see you next time. Uh, peace out. And uh, <laughs> I hope we, we are not uh, you're not saturated with all these meta humans. All right. See you next time. Uh, stay creative, guys. Uh, bye for now.